Well, good morning, guys. Mic check one, two. Doesn't look too bad. I'm trying to make a small impromptu video this morning, and I want to share with my experience with AliExpress or other similar overseas websites like Alibaba and things of that nature. Um, as the title says, this is going to be my experience with ordering lithium ion cells. Uh, due to COVID and a few other reasons, I've decided to build my own battery pack for the adventure bus. Um, and you're going to see why as we continue on this in the series, but I know it's a big purchase and a big ticket item to just blankly sign that check and wonder if you're ever going to receive the item from China. So this is kind of part one. I want to share with you my buying experience. Um, now through some very popular YouTubers and other guys that are doing this, I know there's an EV cell. Um, if you're Googling this, you're probably going to find that cell and people are building these things and they look beautiful and phenomenal. Um, if you get really dive into the technical stuff, there's class, uh, a B cells or and and B cells. And that's, uh, just the terminology of the condition of the cells, if they're used or brand new, etc. And you can dive way deep into this. And then the other flip side of this is ordering overseas. You don't know what you're going to get. It could say it's an A cell, a great A cell. Um, but it could very easily not be, it could be used. It could have the barcode scratch. There's a lot of different reasons not to order this stuff. So you gotta be careful. Um, I'll put in a quick screenshot. Uh, again, this is AliExpress that I ordered through. And if I was having more of a professional, I'd probably have this up, but I want to make sure I don't put any extra, you know, personal information on here. So I'll probably just screen grab this and pick it up here. One eternity later. Sorry. Just waiting for T-Mobile to actually start working. There she goes. I guess I just had to show you guys shipping, selling information for AliExpress. Now I did download their app because I thought maybe it would be more up to date uh, than email. Uh, they give you your code, but it's actually a service code. So you go into this online sort of Chinese FedEx tracking software, and it looks like shipment order received was the 9th of January. And you've got 90 days to contest it. And then what I'm going to do today is as I've got both boxes here, we'll talk about it in a second. Um, I'm going to say order has been received and that will complete it. Uh, if for some other reason you don't receive this, uh, you can contest it. So that's something on your side. It literally says if it doesn't show up by March 10th, that gives you that 90 day window. Um, then you start the dispute of the fact that you didn't receive it. Now, the fact that you put this large order in and you get a tracking number, it doesn't necessarily mean that all your hopes and dreams are going to come true with being able to see where this package is. Um, I will put in, let's see if I redo this, a quick screenshot again. Um, it looks like we ordered it on the 9th uh, shipment facility. By the 15th, it was loaded into a container. That's a pretty quick turnaround. And then estimated arrival in LAX or the customs on the West coast here of the U S um, was supposed to be the, the 7th of February. Today is the 25th as I'm making this video and it still doesn't show that it's even been passed through customs. So the tracking isn't great and it doesn't give you a whole lot of warm, cuddly feelings as far as this large purchase order and where is it at? Um, the FedEx guy dropped it off a couple days ago. The first box, there's two boxes and I was like, well, you'll probably be back tomorrow. And then actually two days later, I got the other one. So don't expect the shipments to show up together either. Now this is shipping to the United States. If you're somewhere else in the world, this would be totally different as well as when you look through some of these websites or some of the online stores, if you will, on AliExpress and stuff, some of them do have warehouses located in the U S or UK, and they will generalize the shipping to say it's only three days. However, a lot of those will bump that price up just for holding that inventory here in the United States to have a, a warehouse of some kind. Um, so if you're looking for the cheapest deal and you're not in a huge hurry, uh, you're going to wait that span of time. Now it wasn't quite, what wasn't even two months. So I consider that pretty good. Um, you know, by March 10th, which is going to be in a week and a half, uh, if I hadn't received it, then I have, um, you know, a chance to contest it. In fact, it says, I think I still have 40 some days, uh, to actually open a dispute if nothing happens, uh, through the app. So there are some avenues that help 
give you the little bit more warm feeling about doing this sort of order. Um, but just so you know, this is kind of my ordering process and my experience. I will put in a website or a, a link here uh, of the actual store I bought it from, AliExpress. At the time, they were the cheapest. I will let you know I was looking for the larger 280 amp hour cells. You can get a lot of uh, smaller cells for much cheaper. But it worked out to be under $900. It was like $850 for, I got eight. 280 amp hour cells at 3.2 volts. So I'm going to basically stack two of those together uh, to create, you know, if you will, it would have been a 280 amp battery and I'm going to have two of those. So if you say, even if you round down and you say those are 250, say you have a 500 amp hour battery pack. If you say you want to buy Battleborn, uh, that is going to be you know, five of their 100 amp hour batteries at around a thousand a piece. That's going to be $5,000 to do a comparable thing. Now I still have lots of things to purchase, um, battery BMS and, and things of that nature that we're going to get into in a future video. But this gives you an idea of why I started getting into this idea. Can I make this possible? Is it safe to do so? And how hard is it to build uh, this battery pack myself. So stay tuned guys. This was just a quick information video to let you know my experience of when I ordered it, how long it took to get here. So if I ordered it on the 9th of January, today is the 25th and I received both boxes. I'm about to open them up. You guys know I don't really do an unboxing video, but I want to show you at least from this company, uh, from the store that I put in the link here, um, or at least a screenshot of how the packaging happens. And so we're gonna continue on the series and I'll just make kind of short bite size and follow along as we go. Um, if you guys have been following the channel, you know I was interested in you know, working with some local companies, but just due to the pandemic, it's really hard to uh, get in and see and tour and talk to people at the moment. And uh, especially when I started crunching numbers, um, this seemed like a really cool option. So stay tuned to see if we can actually make it work. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media. And we'll see you on the road.